Ladies and gentlemen, good evening. Tonight we're going to look into how we can set default values for our classes because many times uh, yeah, we know that it's the same values that we need uh, every time, especially for certain fields. Maybe we have a flow where the, the we have some fields that are, are the same in the beginning always and then we will change uh, as, as uh, yeah, when, when they go through some kind of workflow, right? That is one situation. So we're going to create a spaceship tonight and we're going to set some default values and we're also going to use Lombok. We're going to use Lombok the builder pattern and we're going to see how we can set default values there. We're also going to see how we can create a builder, a Lombok builder from an existing class. It is quite easy as usual. Um, so let's get started. I've created this project uh, right here. I will just show you how I'll cre I created a project. I chose file, new project, spring initializer, Java SDK 15 I'm using currently. I gave it a good name. I ticked off Gradle and I said Java version 15 should be the source compatibility. Then I ticked off Lombok and I also choose Spring Web. I'm not going to use anything from Spring Web this time, but I just wanted it in case I, I needed it. Um, then I created, then I went up here and then I created the um, a space package right here and then I created a, uh, then I created the spaceship uh, class right here and then I gave it some, I gave it some fields, spare model, caps and fuel. Then I annotated with add builder, and then I annotated with no art constructor, all art constructor, and then I also gave it add data. And this is uh, specifically so I actually get a good to string uh, representation of this uh, of, of the of the objects. So let us go down to my spaceship test. I created one test right here. First, I'm creating my spaceship uh, to the the default constructor, and then I'm printing out the, the spaceship after that. Then. I'm using the builder and I'm not setting any fields at all. I'm just, uh, I just want to build it. And that's because we are dealing with default values. So we do not want to set anything uh, right here. We just want to see how does it look. Um, and then I'll print out the spaceship afterwards. So to, to begin with, let us just see how it actually looks. We have not set any default values, so this should be null, all of them. Here we have them, spaceship model, captain fuel, null, and also for the, the version that is created to the builder. Now let us go to spaceship right here. And you have probably, uh, you have probably yourself uh, in, in some uh, situations set a default value like this. Private string uh, captain equals to Mike, for instance, and we can also set a fuel percentage. Maybe this should be it, yeah, 33% to begin with, and then we can always uh, refuel the spaceship later on. Let us see how this situation looks like. The situation, the, yeah, the, okay. Now this is actually okay. I don't know why actually I get this, uh, I get it every second time. Then when it compiles, yeah, okay, so it's, it's now it's actually okay. It's like the, yeah, but here we have it. Spaceship, the first, the, this is when I created with the default uh, constructor. Then we have uh, the captain right here equals Mike, the fuel equals 33%. Uh, and then when I use the builder, where did the default values go? They, 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 they suddenly disappeared. That is because if we go look at the, at the generated class up here, you can actually see we have the generated class uh, right up here. Um, the builder actually does not know anything about the, 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 the default value. The build does not know anything about the default value, but the if you go up here, the fields are set right here. But uh, since the builder has its own representation of all the fields, let me just show you that. And we can also see that if we use the default constructor, then of course these the, these values will be used here. But if we go to the builder, which is also generated, then it also has an, a version of these fields, and they are not set anywhere. You can see they are not set up here at all. And therefore we get the, we get null instead of the default values, and that can easily be fixed by annotating the field with builder dot default, and we do that two times, twice, and then we can run our test once again. Uh, yeah, let us run the test first and see the result. Then we will go look at the, at the generated class afterwards, so we can see what is the difference actually. So right now, okay, both the the, the, the builded version and also the, the version where we're creating to the builder and also the version to the default uh, constructor, now they actually use our default values. So actually now we actually solved our problem actually already now. 
Um, but let us let us see what kind of codes that we actually created. If I go back to my builder right here, then we should see some cool stuff. If I, I just go up here, oh look what what happens here. We have something called default captain right here. Okay, where is that used? Okay, so we have a, a method that actually returns the default value now. That was pretty smart because now it can be used in by the default uh, by, by the default constructor. Okay, so used there. That's that's fine. But we also had that result uh, yeah, the last time. It was actually just not set. We just we just we just set it in, in the top. But right now we actually we are setting this with this method right here. And of course, these methods are right here to return the default values. Okay, that is pretty smart. But what about our builder? Oh, what happens here? If captain has not been set, then set the captain value to the default value. Whoa, this is really interesting. This is exactly what we wanted, and this is actually what solves our problem right here. This beautiful code right here. If if the value has not been set, then all write it with the default values. So that means that if we are setting the value, and that may also means that it actually creates a boolean. It creates a boolean per field that actually keeps track of if we have set this value or not. And if we are setting the value, then we say, oh yeah, now the fuel has been set, set that to true, and set it to true also here. And per default they are false because we have not set them right here. So this is per default false, and this is also per default false. Uh, the, the captain set, and then when we are using the builder to set these values, then um, then the fuel has been set, and then the default value is, will not be used when we are building with the builder. This is the the builder code right here. So this is the, the this is the spaceship builder as you can see right there, and that is generated. This is awesome. This is very cool. Very very good code generation there by Lombok. Thank you very much, Lombok, for doing such an awesome job. Um, let us try to do something else. Let us just try to set, let us just try to see if it works right. Let us try to say set, set the captain to Susan instead. We'll just check that it works right. We, we should not just look at the code, we should also try it out actually and see if it actually works. And now I set a lot of breakpoints and stuff, so let us just check right here. Here we have a captain equals Susan in the second situation right now, because now we're not using a default value, we have set it manually. Awesome, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Lombok. Let us go back to the spaceship. There's one more feature I want to show you, because that is, we can actually say, to builder equals true. If I set that, that means like if I have a class, an instance instance of a class, uh, instance, instance of spaceship, and I want to reuse the, the, the values, the, 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 the field values, then I can actually do that now. I can actually create a builder from an instance of this class right now. And just to show that I'm not lying, let us create a new test. Control D for duplicate code, and then we will try, try to uh, builder. And first we create our spaceship, and this time we will just create. We will actually create it with the all our constructor. That means we will set the model. The model could that could be round. Round is a good name for the model. The captain. What should this be? This time, this time the captain could be Morton. And the number, uh, the the fuel percentage. What could that be? That could be like ninety nine percent. This time it's fu it's fueled up. So we're not uh, we're not cheap this time. We're fueling up the ship. And we actually know now that these values will be used in a lot of situations because uh, Morton will always be the captain. The fuel percentage will always be 99. Sometimes we want to we want to change the model only, but that means that now I can actually use spaceship uh, like this spaceship dot, and then to builder. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Look, look, look! To builder. So that means that now we actually have a builder, and I can actually set this builder right here. So that means that if I if I need the, the, the spaceship builder uh, a lot of times, then I can just use sp spaceship builder, and then I can set the model because in many of the times I want to just to change the model, maybe pyramid, and then I can build the spaceship right here. And of course, I can surround this with system out print line like this, and then we can duplicate this and create a lot of spaceships. So we have one pyramid, we have one box uh, box model, then we have one flying saucer or something, and then we have the weird spaceship right here. And of course, we can also change more fields. The weird, the weird spaceship. Yeah, we could also change here. Here we have another uh, captain right now. There's suddenly Captain Mike again right here. So, like this, and then we build the spaceship because we are using the same builder, and that means that the, that builder will actually have those values that we have right there per default. So this is another way to actually use default values. Yeah. 
Yes, let us see here. We have the we have spaceship. We have uh, yeah, we have the box and Morton and the fuel. We we have the same values all, uh, almost all uh, all around except for uh, where we set the the captain to Mike. So it works. It's it's. I think this feature is awesome. It's very it's cool and it's very it's it's not used that much because usually you could also create a builder with some default values as you saw in the first example. So, but I really like this uh, approach to it. Use builders. That is uh, yeah uh, in the, in. So not some old-fashioned people, I would not say that, but I would say that there's another way to actually create instances of your spaceship, that is to use factories. You can create your own spaceship factory. Um, some people like this approach because then they can actually, then they would actually set, um, then they would actually set the constructor to package scope. That means that it's only the spaceship factory that can actually create instances of the spaceship. Um, let us create something else to, to show that. I'll create an asteroid. So I'll create an asteroid instead. Asteroid, asteroid, like this. Here we have the asteroid. I'll annotate it with data. And then I will say, uh, yeah, that's actually it. I'll just give it data, data right here. Then I'll create it a bit more manually. So that means I'll say private um, integer. This could be height. So no, okay, okay, what you could say, di um, diameter. And we can also have a weight. And again, I, I like uh, whole numbers. Then I don't need to give the the decimals. So this could just be the weights. So this is our asteroid. And then we could actually create a constructor from this. Alt insert if you're using uh, IntelliJ. Then I can mark these two right here. And instead of public, then I'll, now I'm going to write protected. Or I can also just remove. So then this package protected. And then uh, then I can create a new factory so that means that if I want to create an asteroid then I need to go through the factory and it can also be a static method it could also be a it could also be a factory where you actually set the, the fields in, in the factory then it looks a little bit more like a builder let us try the, the static version right here and then we can have an asteroid asteroid and give me asteroid give me asteroid right here without any arguments at all because we know that a new asteroid like this. So I'll create a new asteroid like this. Like this. I create a new what happened right there. Sometimes when I put alt enter and until you just change the stuff. Okay, here we yeah, here we have the this is the default constructor, yes, yes. And that was a mistake. It actually it refactors some, some stuff, it should not do that. That was really annoying. Constructor. Usually, use and uh, here again we remove public, so we cannot create it from any place else than the factory. Then we say here we have, and here we can actually set the values. Then, then we know diameter. Oh, diameter is always ten, and it's always always weighs hundred. We know this. This is a standard asteroid. Sometimes, of course, they have another dimension, another weight. Then the the then the, the class that actually receives this, then they, that can actually change the values. Of course, and then we return the asteroid. Of course, this could have been in, uh, done in one line. Yeah, let us do it in one line. We return. Then until they will not give us a warning. Okay, so now this is our factory right here. Cool, cool, cool. Then we go to the. Then we let us create an asteroid test. Let us create an asteroid factory test instead. Asteroid test, create test. Yes, give me asteroid. Just create it as a test method. Okay. So here we have. So here we can say first we can try a new asteroid. Let us see if we, if we can get a new asteroid. We can because we are in the same package. So let us let me just move this one out here. I'm refactoring this per default, so I'm throwing out the tests right here. So now can we say new new as no we cannot because um, because the, the scope is right now package uh, it's, it's protected right so cannot access from outside the package. Okay, so how can we then create the asteroid? We already know the answer there. Asteroid factory. Asteroid factory. Asteroid factory dot public static asteroid factory. This we should be able to get this right here. Okay, yeah, it's just me who cannot spell. Give me asteroid and print out the asteroid right there. And then we run the test like this. Run the test. 
Let's see what happens. And now we have the asteroid, which is right here. It is 10, um, 10 uh, in diameter, uh, yeah, di in diameter and, uh, and then it uh, weighs 100. Uh, and there's no units on it, that's on purpose. It's some weird space unit. And of course, I can also I could also change the values now because I annotated with add data. So if I want to, then I could then set one of the fields right here, asteroid, asteroid dot set weight. Um, this one weighs a bit more, 110 instead. And then we we'll print out the asteroid, asteroid, like this. And then we see what happens. This time it's 110 instead because we're actually setting uh, the property right there. We're setting the member variable to the setter. Thank you very much for watching. This was uh, this was three different ways of um, this was three different ways of of setting default values for your classes and for your new instances of the classes, which are called objects. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you have a great evening. Hope to see you again soon. Bye bye.